Hi, I'm Will Williamson of the JDR Group in Derby, and I'm going to talk about how to do a Google review. So I'm going to just talk you through the steps that you, you go through to leave a Google review for a business. Um, now I'm going to just do a, a test review, if you like, for a, a business where um, we went to fairly recently at the JDR Group. We had a team event at Roller World, as you can see here in Derby. These are pictures from our Facebook page. And we had a fun night there. Um, so I thought it was a good example of a, a business to leave a review for. So the first step is to find the business in Google. So I can roll the world Derby. Spell it slightly. Here we go. And you get this page saying uh, nine Google reviews, or you've got here write a review. Um, if you notice, there's a little pin here, and that relates to this map result here. So the reason I've put the word Derby in rather than just world, Roller World is to get this map result to come up. And um, if I open another tab here and let's choose Restaurants Derby, what you'll notice is that you get um, the ability to write reviews only for the map results. So if I just scroll to the top of the page, the first result that's a paid ad. Then you've got these organic search results below that. And then below those, then you've got these pins which relate to this map up here. These are the map results or the Google Places or the Google Plus local page results. And underneath each one of those is a Google review. So you can leave Google reviews for the map results. You can't leave them for the organic or the normal search results. So if I click through to uh, Restaurant Zest, for example, it will take me through to their Google Plus local business page. This is a free directory listing, it's like a free page that Google gives you for your business which helps to come up in those local results. Um, if you want to know more about that you can go to the JDR blog, we've got plenty of articles about how to rank and how to get found better in those map results. Uh, you'll see in the middle of the page here there's a blue button that says write a review, so I can click on that and write a review. Uh, just going back to this page, um, most of these businesses have reviews, most restaurants will have reviews that are on the first page at least. Um, if I do a search for something which is, people tend to review slightly less, let's say plumbers, uh, scroll down to the map results again, and you'll see that only a couple of these have any reviews. Um, the rest, they have just a link to their Google Plus local business page, so there's no reviews, and you can be the first and click there in blue, write a review. So let's go back to our Roller World Derby example, and we'll click through to their, their Google reviews, and if you scroll down, and you can read all of the reviews. Uh, I'm going to click write a review. Now if you have a Google account, you have a Gmail account, a YouTube account, whatever it might be, then um, you can just sign in with that, leave your review and you're away. If you don't, it gets a bit more complicated because you will need to set up a Google account in order to leave your review. Um, and so that, that's quite an easy process. There's a little red icon in the top right hand side here that says sign up. And you just click that. I'm going to give Google a few basic pieces of information about myself. Roll the world Derby review at gmail.com. And so I'm putting my birthday or a sample birthday. Myself a little bit older than I am. My phone number, this is important. The reason it's important to get your phone number there is because Google will ask you to verify that you are who you say you are, so they're going to send me a text message um, which is going to give me a code to confirm that I am actually a human and I'm not just doing this for marketing purposes. I R Y G I S. I agree to the Google Terms of Service. I'm just going to click through to the next step. Yes to that. Okay, and it's asked me to confirm my gender. I must have missed that bit out. So I'm going to have to go through this again. Sunset. And we are through. 
So they're going to send me a text message any second, and I'll be able to complete that and uh, go um, go through and leave the review on the lead. Okay, so that's just come through now. My verification code. Click continue. I'm just going to skip through all these various different steps. You can uh, fill out lots of information about yourself, complete a Google Plus profile. So I'm back through to the uh, Write a Review page. Click Write a Review. And then you've got three different sections. The appeal, was it port to fair, good, very good, or excellent overall? I'm going to click excellent. Were the facilities port to fair, good, very good? Again, I'm going to click excellent. Was the service port to fair, good, very good, or excellent? I'm going to click excellent. And I'm going to write a short review. We went for a team event at JDR. It was great fun. The service was I'm going to publish that review. It'll ask me if I want to share it with my friends on Google Plus. This is a social media thing. I'm just going to click no thanks. And then my review is now online. And that is how you leave a Google review. Now, if you want to know more about Google reviews, particularly if you're, a, if you're running a business and you want to know how to get Google reviews, you can go to Google, type in how to get Google reviews. You can find the JDR group website. It will come up. You can just click through to that and you'll find an article all about how to get Google reviews linked through to a video that you can get which tells you more about how to get Google reviews. Uh, otherwise, I've been Will Williamson, JDR Group. Thanks very much.